The way he looked at you the day you met. The sound of his voice the first time he said your name. The taste of his saliva when you kissed. And the smell of his hair in the morning. Just thinking about that person makes your entire body shiver and come alive. You just don't know how you could have gone so long without meeting him. When you're together, every part of you is lit up. And their morning message determines how you'll face the rest of the day. Why you? Why that person? According to biology, behind the love you feel lies the most primal and instinctive feature that links us with the rest of nature, with each life form on the planet. The perpetuation and survival of our species. When you meet the love of your life, body and mind are in constant stimulation. When you see him, when you touch him, when you hear his voice, and when you kiss him, a series of physiological alterations are detonated due to the increase of cortisol, known as a stress hormone. Minutes before meeting that person, you're filled with anxiety. You start sweating everywhere, your blood pressure goes up, and your heart starts beating like crazy. He looks at you, you look at him, you look at each other. Then, with a simple hello, your peristaltic movements shoot up and you get butterflies in your stomach. He looks at you, waiting for an answer. You can only think, answer, say something, anything. But why do we feel this way? What is happening inside of us? The human emotions produced by love are traditionally associated with the heart. However, the physiological reality is that love occurs in the limbic system, which is formed by different structures interconnected in the brain and activated in different ways because of love. The hypothalamus, the one in charge of sexual desire, is activated because of the love we feel for our partner. The insula, the cingulate cortex, the caudate nuclei, and the putamen generate positive emotions of well-being. When we're falling in love, there is an alteration of the amygdala and the frontal or prefrontal cortex, the ones responsible for critical judgment and our behavior. That makes everything that beautiful being does and say seem perfect, a dream. As a result, the production of hormones in our body changes and we are controlled by their powerful effects. So now, love compels us to try to satisfy our desire. The objective is to ensure reproduction. The hypothalamus stimulates the production of testosterone and estrogen, making women act more openly and aggressively. In men though, the increase in estrogen makes them more passive and gentle. Romance. We can blame romance on dopamine the one responsible for activating the reward system that makes us feel good, and norepinephrine, the one responsible for fight or flight, among other things. It also decreases our appetite and makes it hard to sleep when we're really in love. Attachment. On one hand, oxytocin, also known as the cuddle hormone, is produced during lactation, sex and childbirth. Activities that require solid and strong bonds that can ensure reproduction and the survival of the species. On the other hand, vasopressin stimulates parental behavior, strengthens the bonds in a couple, and it could be the one responsible for monogamy. In less than five seconds, you've already pictured the next five years of your relationship. You went to Machu Picchu together. You went to your office costume party. He hugged you the day you lost your best friend. You got your photo taken at a mall photo booth. You baked him a cake on his birthday. You moved in together and you adopted a fat dog. Then he asks you again, hey, you okay? And you just say, yeah.